Hi, my name is Mark Bozek, Engineer Paramedic with the Chino Valley Fire District. I thank you for joining us today for our virtual tour. We take COVID-19 very seriously and follow all precautions and guidelines. This video was filmed prior to requirements of masks. Please enjoy the tour and remember, you are not in this alone. We are here for you. Hey Sparky, how are you doing today? Welcome to uh, Station 61 in the Chino Valley Fire District. Coming today to do our uh, virtual tour on the hazmat unit. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Just to let you guys know, within the Chino Valley Fire District, we have 27 hazmat specialists and the remainder of the department are trained to the FRO level, which is the first responder operations level. Thank you guys and uh, enjoy the virtual tour today. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Porosinian. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the Chino Valley Fire District. I'm a hazmat specialist and a member of our fire district's hazmat team. Before we start our virtual tour, we wanna to thank each and every one of you for doing your part to keep one another safe during these unprecedented times. And we wanna encourage you all to continue to follow the medical experts' guidelines and recommendations uh, in an effort to protect each other from the COVID-19 virus. As an all-risk fire department, we're responsible for responding to a wide variety of emergency calls, including hazardous materials response. The fire district's hazmat team not only responds to 911 emergencies, but they serve as a resource to provide guidelines, recommendations, and best practices in regards to hazardous materials that have been used locally, at a county level, and occasionally at a national level. All hazmat specialists are required to undergo extensive initial certification training and then required by the state of California to maintain their competencies through ongoing training throughout the year. Our HAZMAT team is excited to have you come along with us during this virtual tour as we show you some of the capabilities and equipment that we carry. So come with us. All HAZMAT team members have received the equivalent of college level chemistry. And so the first area of the unit we wanna draw your attention to is our library of resources or what we call the clubhouse which has all different types of reference material that we use to identify chemical and physical properties on a hazardous materials incident. We also have our communication system here, which is specially designed to be used in a variety of different chemical protective clothing. Our fire district's hazmat team trains extensively on performing rescue operations in the hazardous materials environment, but we are equally trained to perform what we call plumbing operations, where we can plug and patch small leaks all the way up to very large leaks utilizing a variety of different equipment. This area of our hazmat unit contains our chemical protective clothing. As hazmat team members, we're required to wear a variety of different uh, pieces of equipment to keep us safe in a hazardous materials environment. Anything from our firefighter turnout gear all the way up to a fully encapsulated level A suit. This section of the hazmat unit is called our cleanup section and it contains a variety of different colored pads and products that we use to help separate oils and chemicals from water. We have different absorbent material that we use to help clean up small spills. We also have neutralizing products that we use for acids and bases that make them safe for cleanup and transport. At the Chino Valley Fire District, we strive to ensure that all of our products are environmentally safe. We call this section of the unit the medical station. All Chino Valley Fire District hazmat team members are not only hazardous material specialists, but paramedics. And we have a variety of different medical equipment and antidote treatments that we can use for victims in a hazardous materials environment. We provide medical monitoring to one another and we make recommendations for treatment strategies for any victims that would be rescued in a hazmat environment. Moving on to this side of the hazmat unit, we have different size sampling tubes. We have a weather station that allows us to gain an accurate weather forecast. We carry different rescue equipment, and this is an overpack drum that allows us to contain a leaking 55 gallon drum prior to transport. We have a variety of different non-sparking tools, and these are kits that we use to manage leaks on rail cars. Housed in this area of the unit, is our level A fully encapsulated suits that provide for the highest level of chemical protection. Lastly, these are our self-contained breathing apparatus or SCBA. And these are slightly different than the ones we typically use on the fire engines in that they're a little bit bigger and they theoretically allow for more time to operate in a hazardous environment. Thank you everybody for joining us for this virtual tour. Sparky, what'd you think? Great, awesome, yeah, thanks again. 
You guys uh, make sure you continue to wash your hands and uh, stay safe at home.